my community. If it's your first time, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So today I am bringing to you another Black business highlight, and I am extremely excited to introduce to you guys my next guest, and her name is Miss Tawana Hewling. And she is the owner of Des T. Is that yes. right, Tawana? That is correct. All yes. right. <laughs> Welcome, Tawana. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Me. Thank you for having me. Most definitely. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I am excited. So I interviewed your sister. You did. Rupper. You did. Um, and she was, uh, I featured her real estate business the mm-hmm. first Monday of this month of the month of March. I and saw it. Yes. And keeping with that momentum, I'm like, I've got, I, I was excited that uh, I was connected with you and I mm-hmm. definitely wanted to learn more about what you had going on. Right. And with this being Women's History Month, I am mm-hmm. all for, you know, promoting my sisters and just yes. championing the amazing things that we have going on. So mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being here today. I greatly You're welcome. You. You're so welcome. So welcome. <laughs> well, I'm excited to hear about your tea business. What, okay. what's, what uh, motivated you to get into the big tea business? And yeah, what, what, what has that been for you? What, uh, what motivated uh, that business? So, okay. So I will say uh, about seven or eight years ago, um, I was diagnosed with uh, idiopathic small uh, fiber neuropathy. It is primarily in my feet. And, um, you know, after years of them trying to figure out what was going on, you know, they didn't know where it was coming from. You know, they're trying to figure out, do you treat it with this, that? Uh, do, do you need a shot, a pill, you know? And, you know, a, a lot of times, especially with neuropathy, it's coming with things like diabetes and things of that nature. And even though that kind of stuff is in my family, I don't have that. You know, I, I, I don't have none of that. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not doing all that. So, you know, um, it, it just got very taxing. And I had like a really, really bad attack of it. Girl, I was on crutches and all this crazy stuff. And I was like, okay, y'all got to tell me what's going on. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times with nerve diseases, they treat you with things like Kepra. Um, which is what um, people that have epilepsy is on. And, you know, that's not just for that, but they'll treat you, you know, with that type of drug. And I just got tired mm-hmm. of taking that stuff, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and they can give me answers. Mm-hmm. So that led me to the holistic route. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, the holistic part of it included chiropractic, uh, acupuncture, and definitely a change in diet. Okay. That is That probably was the biggest thing that I you know, I did to try to help myself, my inside heal its own self, his body, you know, and um, in doing that, I was able to lose over 100 pounds, wow. and that really did help with the neuropathy, it helped, but it didn't, you know, it, it just kind of tapered it off a little bit, you know, you know, I didn't get as many attacks, so, you know, after that, I didn't start there, I started researching herbs, and that's how I got into the tea because I've always loved tea but I haven't had any sweet tea or anything like that in probably the past three years no sodas I, I cut all that C- cold turkey you know wow. you have when you have an addiction to something I don't care whether it's food you can't play with it go on cut it on off and stop tapping at it I'm gonna do that no for me I gotta cut it on off so that's what I did you know and then I started you know mixing this, mixing that, you know, uh, researching this, researching that. And, you know, I did um, a class of herbs because you do have to understand how they work. Mm -hmm. Uh, Even though they're from the earth, they can be dangerous if you're not, um, you know, privy to what they do, why they're there and all of that stuff. And and a combination of other things like other medications Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I did that, did my research and I was like, you know what? I, I, that's, that's where I'm going with this, you yeah. know, and it just kind of happened. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's really amazing. And so I want to go back a little bit and ask you if you could say the name of 
what was that diagnosis again? That you it's um, idiopathic small fiber neuropathy. So, you know, the idiopathic just comes from, they don't know what it, where it's coming from, mm -hmm. you know? So um, that's where, yeah, that, that's, that was the diagnosis that they gave me. And that came after several EEGs and um, nerve conduction studies. And, you know, I feel like a pin cushion. Mm -hmm. That's not, those things are not comfortable. <laughs> you know, you 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 you're not gonna keep letting somebody just tap at you and they don't know what they are dealing with. You know, why are you doing it? What are you finding out? So um I just had to search for my own answers. Absolutely. And you know what? That's something um I remember there one of uh, the interviews that I did mm -hmm. back in February, mm -hmm. and in our conversation, we were just talking about that, how important it is for us as African Americans to mm -hmm take charge of our health and to do yes. our research. And when we go to the doctor and they, you know, uh, um, they diagnose us with something mm -hmm. or they prescribe us medications and things of that nature, where well, we need to take charge and do yeah. our research, find out what is this about? What mm -hmm. do we to do? Are there right. alternatives? Are mm -hmm. there you know, holistic alternatives. Yes. And that's amazing that you took that initiative to say, mm -hmm. I am going to own my own health. Mm -hmm. And I hear what you're telling me, doctor, but I don't want to be an experiment. I don't want to be a guinea pig. I and don't I do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and so going, you know, in the, and, and another thing that you said was, mm -hmm. about, you know, uh, the sugar, like, yes. you know, taking, whenever you have an addiction to something, mm -hmm. you can't play around with that. Can't and play with that. Sugar is, mm -hmm. listen, I'm here to tell you people, sugar is an addiction. It I am, is. I am an addict. I will raise okay. my I'm still <laughs> and still fight it every day, girl. I'll try to tell you. Just like any other addiction, you still have to every day you wake up, you gotta say, okay, uh, you know, what I'm gonna do today <laughs> to not eat that, you know, eat that chocolate candy bar. Yeah. You know, but yeah, and you're right, you know, and and it's proven that um sugar actually has effects on the brain. So the brain wants it, you know, yeah. so, and especially when you're in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. um, the brain is going to want sugar more wow. because that, that helps to calm that. Yeah. yeah. It helps to kind of calm that, you know, the, whatever pain that may be going on and, you know, everything comes from the brain, you That's know, you right. signal that brain is going to signal that pain. So yeah, you know, it wants, it, it wants that sugar. So you have to fight mm -hmm. even harder when you're um, fighting something medical, you know, and trying to do better. That is, uh, and so when you started doing your research and mm -hmm. you got into researching about herbs that mm -hmm. would help your condition, mm -hmm. how did it translate over into you turning it into a tea business? Because, you know, what, as, as I started experimenting with herbs, I found out a lot of them just don't, either they don't have a taste. Mm -hmm. Or they don't taste too good, <laughs> you know. And see, for me, I'm not drinking nothing that don't. I'm sorry, uh, you know, water. That's I love my water. Mm -hmm. um, but even sometimes with that, you want something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's really how I translated it. Because at first I was like, well, I could just sell the herbs. But then I was like, no, because you know, let's do something that will actually make people want to you know, want to try it or, yeah. you know, want to see, okay, let me see what's in that, you know, and yeah. half the time you don't even really know when it's kind of masked in the tea, you know, because it, it tastes so good. So yeah. you know, that's what it was for me. Um, I, I just was like, mm, you know, I love my herbs, but I, I drink it every day in tea form. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one of these ones going, you know, take a powder herb in a shake. That's not me. You yeah, know, I, I, I'd rather have it, brew it. You can do most of them cold and keep it, keep on trekking. Yeah, so that's what happened. You know, it really just kind of evolved because I was like, we got to do something that's going to taste good. Yeah. Make people want to buy it because I'm not about to buy nothing nasty. <laughs> that's right. I hear you. And listen, I love me some tea. So I'm mm. like, yes, ma'am. I, mm -hmm. I don't drink coffee. Um, mm -hmm. coffee messes with me really terribly. So yeah. I, yeah. I really, really grown to love tea. And mm -hmm. one other thing that I, I heard you say was, um, that you haven't 
you know, had a lot of sugar in the last three years, which had got me to thinking mm-hmm. about sweet tea because you're, you're in the tea business. And I remember my doctor. So my doctor, she's a holistic doctor. Good. And shout out to you, Dr. Powell. And, uh, hey. <laughs> so, um, and I remember when I had my daughter, I um, was diagnosed with preeclampsia. So I had mm-hmm. a lot of swelling after yeah. I had, mm-hmm. had a lot of fluid that needed to come off my body. Mm-hmm. And she was encouraging me to drink a lot of fluid and, and mm-hmm. tea. And she was right. telling me to drink some green tea. Mm-hmm. And I was telling her, well, you know, I got to put my sugar in my tea. And she said, well, if you, she said, most people don't realize this, but when you scold your tea, when you make, get it too hot, you scold mm-hmm. it. And that's what makes it bitter. And then yep. you want the sugar. And she said, but if you get it just right at the right temperature, mm-hmm. then it will release its own like sweetness. And I was and like, she's oh. right. And so, and I wanted to ask you about that because I remember her telling me that. And when I'm hearing you say, Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking the sugar, but you are making these teas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and she's right. She's absolutely right. You know, when again with herbs, you know, some of them are grown different ways. They're grown um, in different parts of the earth. You know, some of them are near water, you mm-hmm. know, so you have all these different components. So, yeah, with a green tea, because of the sensitivity of that leaf, mm-hmm. if you keep it for more than five minutes, you're going to be pouring it out because it's better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So she's right. You know, you got to two, two to three minutes and then some teas can't take boiling water. Uh-huh. We, we get the water too hot. And it's really not all about how long you steep it. But for that particular tea or that particular herb, you've you've you know, you need to let it sit, that water sit just for a little bit, just to get a little cooler. And then, you know, uh, put your, your tea or whatever in there and, and pour it in there. But, um, but yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't do sugary drinks and stuff like that. I, you know, you backslide a little bit, but that, yeah, was, one, yeah. that was one thing I did not do. I, I did not go back to sodas and, you know, sweet tea and stuff like that. It just, mm-hmm. I like I said, I just left it alone because, you know, sometimes you go down that slope, it's too slippery, you can't get back. <laughs> listen, listen, sister, let me just tell you how much I understand where you're coming from with that because mm-hmm. I I have always, since I was a little girl, been a, uh, a, a, a um, what do I call myself? Uh, I've always had such a sweet tooth. Like I yeah. literally... When I was growing up, my brother used to tell me, he was like, girl, when you get a job growing up, you're going to spend all your money on sugar. Oh! I, mean, it's so true I, love I think we all have had that happen. Seriously. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's like, it's, I can go a whole day and if I don't really eat no sugar, I'm okay. But the minute I eat one thing, like a piece of chocolate, it's or over. Like, it just, it just releases something. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That brain girl, the brain like, oh. She yeah. popped up a piece of chocolate. <laughs> like, Give me more. Get pop- <laughs> there you go. Go get one more because I ain't done with it. Because <laughs> I ain't done with it. <laughs> I ain't done. That's what the brain saying, girl. No, no one ain't going to do. <laughs> That's it. I'm telling you. So and it's exciting to learn about, you know, just how um, mm-hmm. healing tea can yeah. be, mm-hmm. how healthy tea can be Mm -hmm. and that you don't have to load it down with sugar for you to Mm -hmm. enjoy it you don't you don't and you know and it and again it was um it was a little hard for me but like I said I did it just just not messing with it all of a sudden but you know I I grew up on sweet tea my grandmother used to make the best Mm -hmm. sweet tea girl when I tell you the best I mean, my friends used to want to come in. Can I get you some of your grandma tea? Girl, look, all my mama friends, they, uh, your mama tea. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, girl, good, yeah. the best tea would knock you out. <laughs> and I didn't drink water as a kid. I never did. Like, I hated water. But that was because my grandma didn't like water. So mm-hmm. guess what she drank all the time? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you know, for me, sweet tea was a, a staple. You know, mm-hmm. I get my little lemon in. She always put lemons in it. You know, mm-hmm. give it that little twang, and I yep. was good to go. So you know, it was a little hard for me to cut it off, but I did, and I'm very happy that I did that because you know what what I didn't realize at that time is 
you know, caffeine robs your body of hydration. What, you know, yeah. in all forms, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I've learned to like drink things that are not caffeinated, you know, mm-hmm. um, if I can help it, you know, um, because ca- caffeine can kind of hide and stuff too. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that's yeah. what I did, most definitely. Mm-hmm. And I think it's it's almost blasphemy in the South and especially African-Americans in the South to say, you know, you don't have to put sugar in your tea or you don't have to put right. that much or you can put some agave or, you know, you can... Mm-hmm. Like, you know, what? But like, girl, like, wait a minute. <laughs> if I were really drink some tea, like tea, tea, I would go and just put some sugar in it. <laughs> I'm not about to play with no syrup and all of that. No. Exactly. I ain't doing that. <laughs> no. No, ma'am. I'm not doing it. I would just drink some tea with some sugar. The sugar. But that's why education mm-hmm. is so key and it's so important and I love seeing African-American women and Mm African-Americans us get into these veins where we learn like -hmm. you said we grow up yeah and and you 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 don't unless someone come and teach you something different you're Mm -hmm. only accustomed to what you what you've been um exposed to and so in your mind you think you grow up like you said you didn't like water because your grandma didn't didn't like water didn't like it and then we we have diabetes in our family and they say, mm-hmm. oh, well, it's hereditary and all this. Well, it's not hereditary. It's just that yeah. we have the same bad habits in what we're consuming. Come on now. There you go. Don't keep asking me about my family history and what the grandma had, what mama had. I don't know all that. And that don't pertain to me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. Don't, don't ask quit yeah. asking me that. I don't yeah. I I go down XX. No, none of that. <laughs> yes, They're talking no. about what I got going on. That's what, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, we ain't doing right. that. Right. Because we can make those changes, and we it does not have to be because my mama had can't diabetes or had high blood right. pressure, had all these things that I mm-hmm. have to have it. No. I just make different choices. There you go. They had to do what they had to do to survive. And That's now right. no better do better. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. And so there you go. But no, That's they don't, they love to label that as mm-hmm. um and you know, there are some things that may um trickle in there from DNA, but not not that. I, I don't. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I got an impartial <laughs> feeling on that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I understand. I'm with you. I because I, I I used to I I felt the same way. I'm like I understand that, like you mm-hmm. just said, that there are certain things that can be passed down. Yeah. But if I take extra precaution and Mm -hmm. I take care of my body and make different choices, then Mm -hmm. I can, you know, forego some of the stuff that my grandmother, my great grandmother went through. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I wanted to ask you, cause I took a look at your Facebook page. Uh um, I saw that you, as you guys are, are planning your opening day. So right Mm -hmm. now you still in the beginning phases of of getting mm-hmm. your business up and running right mm-hmm. all that you have um you've been uh advertising some of the mm-hmm. teas that you're going to be offering once you guys mm-hmm. are up and running yep. and there's one specialty that i happened to see that you were advertising mm-hmm. beverly's blend i think it was oh yeah <laughs> you know what that that came so crazy oh my god um you know one of our one of our friends um you know, she, she had gotten sick with uh, breast cancer and, um, you know, I reached out to her a little bit later on, you know, just to give, I like to give people their space and their time to go through, you know, what they're dealing with, which you got 50,000 people, I, I am a year and Facebook and you, you, you know, you kind of get lost in the weeds, but um, after um, a while I reached out to her and I said, you know, um, do you mind if I make something strictly for you, you know, recovering from chemo and whatever? And uh, she was open to it. My God, it took me almost nine months to do it. <laughs> but when I finally did, though, and, and again, that's, that's why I take this so serious because you mm-hmm. can't. You can't just, just give people anything, you know, if they're going through chemo or whatever, you don't want to get do anything to contradict that. Yeah. So I really had to go in and do my research, you know, and make sure what I was making for her was okay, you know, and but by the time I did that, um, her mother passed away. 
So I reached back out to her and I said, you know, do you mind if I just, instead of calling it Stephanie's tea, because that's what it was going to be called, I said, can I commemorate your mom, you know, with this? And she was very, very open to it. And, you you know, it, it is just one of those things where, you know, I'm sure losing a parent, I still have my mother, you know, I'm blessed, but um, losing anybody to cancer or anything like that and seeing them have to, you know, go through that is rough. So I just want her and her family to be able to drink that tea and think about the think about their mom you know and just the good memories but that that really was what that was for and I always knew I wanted to do some type of tea blend for um, people that are recovering you know with, with chemo and trying to help with some of those side effects a little bit um, but I never thought it would go this way you know yeah. I didn't but it just kind of happened like that you know I, I just it, it happened you know and I'm just yeah. one of those people that don't think anything happens that don't supposed to you know it, yeah. apparently this is how the universe lined it up that's right and I, walked, well, I went on here and rolled with it you know? that's right well mm-hmm. and and the amazing thing is that you were inspired to create this tea mm-hmm. so it may be able to help somebody else uh, who might be going through their cancer journey and yeah. might be looking for, you know, and, and dealing with ke- uh, going through chemotherapy and mm-hmm. they may be looking for holistic uh, options. Yeah, and, right. And you you have one for them. So mm-hmm. yeah, they can awesome. try it, you know, and, and you, you know, it may not work. It, it, it might not, I don't know, you know, but if it does good, but at the end of the day, you got you some really good tea, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know, awesome. <laughs> what what exactly the herbs that are in that what is it what is it intended to help you know with those um mainly nausea and vomiting okay, okay. Um, you know because those are the things that people really suffer with you know after with the chemo treatments and radiation and stuff um and also just um calm and making sure the stomach is calm yeah you know and you can drink it at night and and, and i drink it so mm-hmm. it's not just for that you know what i'm saying yep you know, I just try to put everything that I've put together for this company is is really created with anybody in mind. That's you know, right. if you just ain't if you, if you ain't really looking for no herbs, but you like the tea, you know, just all of that. Um, it's really just all about creating something that you can have and still be okay and drink it and, and cut out some of the sugary stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, find something different you might like. Because I hear a lot of people say, I don't like tea. Well, try it, you know, just try it, see how you like it, and you'll be surprised. You really might enjoy it, you know. Absolutely. Most definitely. So, yeah, I did that, and I was, I felt very, very um, thankful that they allowed me to do that, you know. um, They were open to it, Um, and, you know, I told her that um, some of the proceeds that I get from that particular tea, I will donate to um, cancer research. You know, awesome. just for that, yeah. You know, just for that cause, anyway. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> and so, in that, speaking of your teas and what mm-hmm. you're offering and what you're going to be looking to offer, mm-hmm. when can we expect to see Des Tea? And am I saying it right? Des Tea. You're saying it just right. Yes, okay. you're saying it perfectly because you know, you know. I think you do, you know I was thinking of like destiny mm-hmm. and because healing is our destiny you yeah. know yeah. I don't care if it's in the form of a pill mm-hmm. you know herb um like I said holistic stuff you go on the acupuncture every week it doesn't matter what what whatever you can can do to help heal your body yeah it's awesome so you know I thought about that I was like okay this is what we're gonna call this business but no you're saying it perfect Mm -hmm. um and we're looking at um probably towards the end of march early april because you know some of the things it's it's a different ball game when you're doing a business i have learned this firsthand (laughs) you know you have to make sure you stand in the states uh guidelines and it is a lot of guidelines but this type of business just yeah. because they're herbs you know mm-hmm. you got to be careful you can't say certain things about your product and mm-hmm. you know they want all this information you got to do this and that and 
Then COVID happened, so they didn't went working. So, you know, it was just a whole, you know, but again, I took that time to just fall back and really just focus on how I wanted the business to flow. So that did give me some time to just sit down and say, okay, this is what we want. Um, So we're in the process now, finishing up the website. um, And that is where we are with it. We're just finishing that up um, and just waiting you know, for that to be done and we can put it out there. So, but yeah, we'll be offering specials. You know, I have coupons. We have, um, I have, of course, mugs that will be, um, you know, given away for a, a certain people, you know, as far as ordering is concerned. But, you know, we have a lot of things that we're going to try to launch out there. Mm-hmm. And it's a little different doing it, you know, in a, COVID, a post-COVID world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't have no launching party like you used to. You probably That's could. Right. Yeah. I, yeah, I ain't doing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, do it a different way, you know, but. Yeah. Exactly. I know the vaccines are coming out, but hey, you still got everybody don't have it yet. So we still no, don't. Be very, very mm-hmm. No, <laughs> exactly. no, everybody don't have it. I'd love to ask you if there because I know that you are like you mentioned, you are in the beginning stages. You are waiting to get your website up and running. Mm-hmm. So you can launch out and mm-hmm. start selling your excited. Tea. Yes. <laughs> So anyone that might be looking to get in a similar vein, you know, they say, I want to start me an e-commerce store. I want to, you know, sell products online. And Mm -hmm. I'm just in the beginning phases myself. What might be some advice you might give to them getting started in this process? Um, I would definitely say to make sure it's a business that you love. Mm-hmm. You know, do some, don't do, don't start some, something just to make money. You know, I feel like it really needs to be something that comes from the heart that you start. Um, because that way, when you hit those little bumps in the roads, you won't give up. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you because you're pushing for something else. You're pushing for something that we you love. And mm-hmm. we're always going to push and grind through that brick and mortar and dig through the mud for something that we love doing. Mm-hmm. So your business that you're creating needs to be the same way. You know, if you end up just trying to make something, do a little, get a little money, uh, you, you know, I would just say research your own heart, research your own goals in life and create something that you really feel that you can make a go of. And that way, when you do hit red tape, which like I said, opening up businesses is always going to be a little something here, a little something there. But you got to push through it. Yeah. And really, but you'll do that pushing if it's something that you love. You know, that's the difference between a job and a career. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on this job just to pay my bills. Yeah. You ain't going to like going to that job every day. You're going to be sick of looking at folks. <laughs> and and- wow, well, yeah, the why you're going to be ready to quit and cuss people out and stuff. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. But if you're in a career you're more apt to, um, you know, just kind of evolve with that job and let yeah. things happen and yeah. just, you know, wait on your, get your promotions, you know, do all of that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. that is the difference, I feel, in opening a business. So just make sure it's something that you want to do. Don't do, be, be your own brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be your mm-hmm. own brand. Yeah, like- your brand should represent who you are as a person, not just all of the Trust me, profit is a must. You have to, you know, be profitable. Yeah. You also have to be doing something that you love to, you know, not just to pay the bills. Yeah. That is so, so I hearing you say that takes me mm-hmm. back. So <laughs> I was uh, applying to go to undergrad uh, in my college career. Uh-huh. And I remember my mom telling me when I was uh, applying for schools. And then when mm-hmm. I finally uh, decided on going to Appalachian State and uh-huh. I was trying to decide on what uh, my major was going to be. And I remember my mom telling me, Dia, mm-hmm. do something you love. There you and go. You do what you love, mm-hmm. it will make room for you. It does. And it always does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Just like they say, your gift <laughs> will make room for you. You there yeah. you go. It's got to be something that you want to do. And if it's not, you're not gonna fight for it. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of people um struggle with that because they're like, man, I don't know what I want to do. I don't, I don't yeah. know what I love. And right. it can it can take some time, like it can. You, 
you know, it was through getting this diagnosis and then right. you want to, you know, uh, go the holistic path and so mm-hmm. the herbs. And then you were like, wait a minute, I can turn this into a business. And actually, but you found mm-hmm. through your experiences in life and your right. circumstance, it brought mm-hmm. you to that passion. It did. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think that, you know, for a lot of us, because even, you know, with me even doing this channel, it was through, you know, the circumstances going on through the year in 2020 yes. and looking for an outlet to express myself and want to do mm-hmm. something for my community. It right. me. And then I learned that I have a passion for it. I, I enjoy this. I, you know, and it, so I think that for anyone who say, you know, who says, I, I don't know what I love. I don't know. Yeah. And I've heard people say this, just live a little. And there if you, you live a little, live a little more. Mm-hmm. And I think that life in and of itself, mm-hmm. it will bring you to that thing you're passionate about. It will, if you go through it, we have to go through it willingly. You willingly, know, go, go yeah. through the process, go through you know, whatever it is you're going through to kind of see what's on the other side of that. Yeah. Because it's always going to be something better on that other side. (laughs) I'm telling you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I wanted to, you know, uh, I don't want to, you know, you spend up all of your time. You're good. I've asked this time out just for you. (laughs) Yeah. I did. I did. Sure did. <laughs> she ate it. Mm-hmm. So I also wanted to just ask you mm-hmm. um, if you, you know, wanted to talk a little bit about um, you started uh, talking a little bit about it already. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you were, you know, saying they require so much of you, the state and all this kind of stuff. A little bit about challenges that you have faced. Mm-hmm. you know while you've been you know in this beginning stage. yeah um definitely I would say um you know the process of actually starting the, the the business the LLC and getting all of that together that was easy because I had somebody in my corner that knew how to do that mm-hmm. he was absolutely phenomenal his name's Dr. Barr but um I definitely um went the things that I think I went through was it wasn't so much all of the red tape. It was patience for me. Yeah. I, I had to learn how to be patient because yeah. like I said, things happen. Um, I put my application in there, I think 2019. I didn't hear back from them until like September of 2020. Wow. So, you know, I'm like, now what in the world is going, you know, I'm calling folks, I'm emailing. Yeah. And finally, I just said to myself, stop, you know, just fall back. Mm-hmm. The, the, keep living your life keep planning and doing and eventually it'll happen so as soon as I did that I got the call from them saying okay you know this is what we need you know we're gonna come do this do that so it's really I think anything you do I feel for with the state of North Carolina is on their own time <laughs> and it don't always have to be that way but it's just how they are you know I'm sorry it is you know that's what it is yeah. you know it's gonna be on their time and, it, you know, again, I still think it was meant for it to be on their time so I can really reflect to, as to what processes I want to put in place for the business. Um, you know, just make sure we had everything covered, you yeah. know, even down to packaging and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like if it would have went as fast as I wanted it to, I wouldn't have been able to focus on that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I would have probably cut myself short, slighted myself. So really, it's all about patience. Just mm-hmm. go ahead and do it. You know, um, at one point, they wanted me to change the name. And I was, I was like, Mm-mm, certainly will not. <laughs> because... Yeah. Yeah, and again, that comes with when you're doing this type of stuff with herbs, they don't want you to say um, th- that you're healing anything or, you, yeah. you know, so that's a that's a law. So yeah. you have to be real careful with that. So, um, and, you know, my business slogan kind of messed them up a little bit, but I was like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I said, if I don't fight for my business, who else going to do? That's you right. Know? And I that's told right. her, and that's when I told her, I was like, look, I'm not trying to say, you know, that it, it, the herbs are always healing, they're healing. I'm just saying, you know, it's your destiny to be healed, however you want to yeah. do it. That's exactly however you want to do okay. it. That's however you want to do it. If you want to drink your little scotch and uh, soda every night that yeah. help you, then you do that. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you want to do that and that's helping you out, then do that. If that's keeping you sane and all that, go right ahead, you know. 
Right. He, he calls it all fun. So That's I was it. like, I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> because right. I this, love that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, I, I'm not changing it. And it shouldn't be an issue, you know. So it's just that type of stuff, especially in this type of business. And that was yeah. some things I didn't realize. You know, I didn't understand all of that until I went back and looked at some of that. So I was like, okay, I see where they're coming from. But that, that's not all of what I'm trying to do. I'm that's doing right. something different. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, does, it doesn't it does work for everybody. Everybody's bodies is different. There's so many herbs out there to do the same thing. You have to find that right combination that's going to work for you. Work for you. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How can... And people, I know that you're still working on getting the website up and running. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how can individuals find you now if they want to reach out and, you know, be Oh, um, right. Well, I have an Instagram page. Okay. Um, I do have a Pinterest or pin. Some people say Pinterest, pin interest, or pin. <laughs> I say Pinterest. I don't know. Whatever you call it. <laughs> I, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> so um you know i have the and, and i'm not really big on social media like i, I like i already know my little crew of daughters i'm like help my mouth because yeah <laughs> this ain't my avenue you know i need some yeah. help <laughs> so right now that's where that's where it's at you know our business um number is on there um our email address is out there so right now that's the avenue the, all those social media outlets Okay, mm -hmm, so you got definitely. Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and Pinterest. Pinterest. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Hey. my Pinterest page is not quite there yet. Um, I think that one is going to be more for like my blog, you know. Okay. Um, so, but it definitely Instagram and Facebook. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure that I tag those in here. And one last question that I love to ask individuals um, mm -hmm. during my interviews, because mm -hmm. I love to pick up inspirational quotes and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. I want to ask if there is a quote or some type of inspirational something that you like to, uh, that, that motivates and inspires you. You know what, I'm going I'm to give you this quote, okay? And this was one that I, Learned when I first watched the Mandela movie. <laughs> it's been years ago. Nelson Mandela. Um, he said, "The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall." Mm -hmm. So again, that goes back yes. to push through the mud. You know, yes. we we fail all the time. We fail ourselves. You know, we fail whatever, whatever. But we can't stay there. That's you know, it. we have to get back up that's and it. dust off and push through, you know. So that's what anything, business, life, you know, I feel like I'm one of those ones that feel like as long as you're breathing, it's not too late. You better say that. It's not yeah. too late. You breathing, <laughs> you on top of the dirt, you make it happen. <laughs> it's not too late. True. It's not that too late. True. And I because I like and I like to say that too. Like if there is breath. In mm -hmm. my body, mm -hmm. and you have given me another day. That's then right. This, there's a, there's a purpose for me to still be here. Make it count. Oh, that's that's right. It count. That's it. It, it count. But yes. yes, that was one that I really. I was like, you know, because when I saw your question, I was like, wow, because there's so many quotes out there that I like. Mm. But when I had to sit, really sit back and think about it, I was like, that's probably the one that I I give myself all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stay you know, in that state, I have to get back up, you know, that's I might true. linger a little bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's you know, okay. we, we might linger there just a little bit too long, but at the end of the day, I'm coming up out there, I'm not going to stay yeah. in there. <laughs> okay. You guys, check out Tawana at Desk Tea, and just as her slogan says, it is your destiny mm -hmm. to be healed, however yes. that looks for you, it is you in your destiny for you to be healed. There and you go. Part of healing is joy and laughter. So I want to encourage you, if you have not done so already, I want you to stop, take a moment, mm -hmm. find a reason to laugh, and yes. keep smiling. Yes. Until next time, and always, stay blessed. Yes. Yeah.